Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Young Twan. I'm back with another video. So in this video today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make some samples like Palace. I'm gonna be taking y'all through the process of me creating this sample, this Palace style sample. So yeah, let's get straight to it. So first what I started with, I opened up Analog Lab and I picked this longing preset from a loophole Louis Flynn Analog Lab Bank. And without the effects, I laid down these very simple chords. So that's without any effects, and with the effects, I added a half time, a little micro shift, and an effect rack just to add some delay and reverb, and then an EQ just cutting the lows out, and this is what it sounds like now. So, as you can hear, it sounds a lot bigger, a lot fuller, and this is the sound I wanted to go for. Then, next up, I went into contact and I picked this Oliver Arnold Stratus Toolkit. It's a dope contact library. I suggest you guys go get it. And I picked this synth matrix looped rhythms preset and I just copied and pasted the chords and a few of the notes. Actually, I just drew in a couple of these notes. So without the effects, this is what it sounds like. So yeah, it's just the same two chords repeating, but then I added some effects. I added a half time just to kind of slow it down and then an EQ cutting the lows out. And this is what it sounds like now. So yeah, I wanted this to be a lot more in the background and a lot more subtle, something where you can feel rather than something you can really hear. And then I went into contact again and I picked this Mallet Flux preset and I went right here and I picked this basic triplet 807 preset and I just uh, went and drew these notes just following the chords and some of the notes that I have played and this is what it sounds like now. So again, just the same pattern, just copying it over, but I added some effects. I added an effect rack with the liquid vibe preset a murder melodies with the up up and away preset a primal tap with this heavy vibe and delay preset a good hurst wow control turning up the coloring and turning down the saturate turning up the amount as well just to give it a bit more of that detuned feel but as you can see i turned the dry and wet knob all the way down to five percent so it's really doing something very slightly and then an eq just cutting the lows out and this is what it sounds like with the effects So as you can hear, it sounds a little more vintage and a little more modulated. It just sounds a little cooler. And then for one of the last elements that I added, I added this CS80 from Arturia and I picked this Demogorgon, Demogorgon preset. I just copied and pasted the chords from the first sound and I, this is what it sounds like. So very simple. Now, if I add the effects, I added a portal with the soup preset, an effect rack with this endless summer preset, just adds like a tremolator and a bit of phaser and stuff. A reels with this slapback preset, just to kind of add like more of like a vintage feel to it. And then an EQ just cutting the lows out. And this is what it sounds like now. So yeah, it sounds a little more processed. Then what I did, I rendered a lot of these sounds out and then I ended up taking this CS80 sound right here, this pattern, and I ended up pitching it one whole octave up and actually reversing it and adding some more effects. But if I play without the effects, this is what it sounds like now. So yeah, it gives a cool little texture. Then I added a half time, a phaser Bitron from Arturia with the parallel 12 poles preset a good hertz low high just to take out some of the highs and then an eq just to take out some of the lows and i actually did an interesting thing again here i did a halftime automation where i automated this mix knob right here so it kind of comes in and out and this is what it sounds like so i'm gonna play without the halftime automation and then now i'm playing the halftime automation So yeah, all of a sudden it just gives a lot more sauce, a lot more like originality, a lot. It's very, very unique now. Then I rearranged it, bounced it out as a sample. And then this is what the final sample sounds like. Uh, I'm actually gonna break down the effects. So this is like my master channel. I added a spin with the palm preset. The spin is a plugin from Clebrand. 
and I turned down the mix down to like 10%. I added this uh, Waves pre-child compressor just to kind of compress it and glue it all together. And then a fab filter where I EQ where I took out some of the lows. And this is what the sample sounds like. I actually ended up pitching it down 200 cents and here it is. So yeah, that's basically it for me today. If you did enjoy the sample and enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Run up my IG, link will be down in the description below. If you have any questions, make sure to DM me. And that's it for me today. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.